In just under 25 minutes, we'll be following the fortunes of the Californian offshoot of the Ewing dynasty down at Knott's Landing. That's after two more contestants have subjected themselves to a computerised grilling in four square. <laughs> And welcome to another round of Four Square. It's the knockout competition which tests your memory and your general knowledge. And already the letters are flooding in. Here's the second one. <laughs> Dear John, <laughs> on Four Square, I find you very educational. Can't be bad. Whenever you're on, I go in the other room and read a book. <laughs> so anyway, never mind that. Let's meet our two fresh new contestants who want to play Four Square, and they are Pat. Hello, I'm Pat Scott from Cumbernauld near Glasgow. You're welcome, Pat. And Errol. Yes, hello. My name's Errol Chambers and I'm from Lewisham in London. And you're welcome as well. <laughs> Pat, I, I was just thinking that it, it's lucky that we don't have name badges on your chest, otherwise you'd have, you'd have Pat on your chest. <laughs> on, your, on your back, as I could understand, but on your chest, that nice. wouldn't be much fun. You're from Glasgow. Yes, uh, Cumbernauld, near Glasgow. Near Glasgow. Yes. So yes. how far away would that take you? About 16 miles from Glasgow. Is there a bus? Oh, yes. So I don't have to walk? No, you wouldn't, know. Oh, oh that's no. all right then. OK. <laughs> and Errol, I know you're from Lewisham, so you haven't had too far to come. No, not too far. You collect records? Yes, I do. What sort of music do you collect? Um, mainly jazz and early soul. Yes? Have you yeah. got a hero? Um, oh, well, not anybody that anybody should know, really. Really? Obscure? Yeah, yeah pretty okay. obscure. <laughs> and uh, y you do sign language? Yeah, I hope to be a qualified sign language interpreter when I grow up. Do you have to wash your hands before that? Otherwise you get dirty language, is that <laughs> right? No, no. <laughs> Let's get on with round one of three rounds of four square, and we're going to meet the grid made up of 36 squares. Both Errol and Pat will take it in turns to select a square. Once they've selected it, it spins forward and reveals a picture. I'll ask a general knowledge question about that picture. If they get it right, the square goes to their colour. If they get it wrong, the square goes to their opponent's colour. Each square is worth one point, and for a four square, which is four little squares into one large square, I'll throw in another five points. I must warn you, there are four gremlins in the works. If you land on one of those, both the square and the point go to the opponent's colour. Good luck. Pat, you're going to start us off. So good luck to you, and let's have your first square. Number nine. Here it comes, number nine. And that's Salvador Dali. What nationality was Salvador Dali? Portuguese. He was Spanish. Errol. I'm number 15, please. Here comes 15, that's Prunella Scales. What was her Christian name in Faulty Towers? Sybil. Sybil, is right. <laughs> Pat. Number 11. Number 11. A clock. In spring, do we put the clocks forward or back by an hour? Forward. We go forward, well done. Errol, pick a square. Number 21, please. 21, that's Leningrad. What was the former name of Leningrad? Petergrad. Well, it's St. Petersburg, Petersburg or Petrograd. All right, Pat, it's your turn. <laughs> Number 17. Number 17. And that's Michael Jackson. What is the name of the 1987 album released by Michael Jackson? I'm bad. Bad? Pat, <laughs> you got it. Actually, it was quite good, but um, they called it bad. <laughs> Errol. Number 14, please. Number 14 is a kangaroo. Are kangaroos carnivores or vegetarians? Vegetarians. Is right. Pat, another square. Number 23. Number 23, Matt Busby. Which football club was he manager of? Manchester United. Manchester United. Yes. Well done, Pat. And we look at Errol. If we look at the board for a second, we can see the squares flashing. There's two chances of four squares here, so off to you, Errol. Um, number 20, please. Number 20. Good luck to you. Four or four square. That's the Canadian flag. Is Canada the first, second or third largest country in the world? Third. It's the second. The Soviet hey. Union is the largest. Pat. Number 18. And that is Ingrid Bergman. For her role in which 1974 film, based on an Agatha Christie story, did Ingrid Bergman receive an Oscar? Death on the Nile. It was Murder on the Orient hey. Express. Errol, another shot. Number eight, please. Number eight for a four square. And it's a gremlin, just when you didn't need it. Ah. Oh. The point in the square goes to Pat. And Pat, your turn, please. I'll try number 12. 
And that's a parrot. Hello, Polly. Which well-known children's book first appeared in 1883 featuring a one-legged pirate and his parrot? Treasure Island? Yes. It could have been worse. Could have been a one-legged parrot and his <laughs> pirate. <laughs> Errol, your turn. <laughs> Number 16, please. Number 16. That's Miss World. What nationality was the first Miss World? English. It was Swedish. Pat. I'll go for number uh, 10. Number 10. Charlton Heston. In which 1959 film did he win an Oscar? Ben-Hur. Ben-Hur. Great film. Errol. Oh, that's a four square. I get, so, I get so wrapped up in the game, uh, sometimes I, I don't know what's going on. It's actually a four square there, which is five points there. That's our first four square. And let's have a look at the scores. Errol's on five, and Pat's on 12. And Errol, plenty of time to catch up. Number 22, please. Number 22, going to block a square there. That's an ear, the human ear. Which Shakespearean character asked his friends, Romans and countrymen, to lend him their ears? Mark Antony. Mark Antony. I don't know what you did with them afterwards, but Pat, mm. what would you like? I'll go for number four. Number four. There's a gremlin. An unlucky square point and square goes to Errol. Errol, your turn. Um, number 28, please. 28. <laughs> Sir Laurence Olivier, in which film does Laurence Olivier star alongside Dustin Hoffman as a Nazi looking for some diamonds? Um, the Marathon Man. The Marathon Man. <coughs> Pat. Number five. <coughs> and number five, basketball. How many players are there in a basketball team? Seven. There are five. <coughs> Errol, pick a square. Twenty-seven, please. <coughs> Twenty-seven. For a four square, good luck to you. That's judo. From what system of self-defense did judo develop? Karate? No, it was jujitsu. <coughs> and so, Pat, it's your turn. I'll go for number uh, 19. <coughs> number 19, tigers. What was the name of the tiger in the Jungle Book? Shere Khan. Shere Khan, well remembered. <coughs> Errol. 34, please. <coughs> number 34 is Noel Coward. According to Noel Coward, who shouldn't put her daughter on the stage? Anybody. <laughs> oh, very true. What a good bit of advice there. <laughs> it's actually Mrs. Worthington. Pat. I'll go for 26. 26. Is George Best, for which international team did George Best play? Ireland. It was Northern Ireland. I'm going to give you that one. Thank you. And you're doing very well on the football okay. questions. We have a flashing four, three squares down there, potential four square, but uh, Errol, where would you like to go? Um, 25, please. 25 is a gremlin, that means that the square goes to Pat. And, and that's, that's the way the gremlins go. Sometimes they work uh, in, in the favour of somebody else. Well done there. That's another five points to Pat. Let's have a look at the scores. Errol's on nine and Pat's on 21. And so let's have another, four, another square, please. Go for 24. Number 24, my old locker number, here it comes. Mount Batten succeeded Wavell in what position in 1947? The Viceroy of India. That's right. Errol. 29, please. 29. My old band, the Osmonds. Which Osmond had a number one hit with the song Long Haired Lover from Liverpool? Little Jimmy. And being a jazz expert, you should know that. <laughs> Pat. Right, I'll go for 31. 31. Polo. Playing time in polo is divided up into periods, usually of seven and a half minutes. By what name are these known? A chucka. Chuckers. <coughs> Chuckers another square, will you? <laughs> um, number 35, please. 35. <coughs> and that's a taxi. What was the name of the Jack Rosenthal play about taxi driving, which starred Nigel Hawthorne as an examiner? The knowledge. The knowledge is right. Well done. <coughs> Pat, you have some flashing squares there. I'll go for 32. 32. Good luck for a four square. That's Henry Kissinger. What government office did Kissinger hold between 1973 and 1977? The American Foreign Minister. Sorry, Pat, that was very close, but we needed the exact answer, Secretary of State. Errol, let's have that next square. 30, please. Number 30. Ballet dancers. Which ballerina had a meringue dessert named after her? Melbourne. Out of time there, Melbourne, yes. Uh, Anna Pavlova. 
Pavlova. Pat. Number seven. Number seven. Is Andy Warhol, which make of soup is particularly associated with Andy Warhol? Campbell's. Campbell's soup. Yes. yes. Famous picture that, wasn't it? Errol. Number 13, please. 13. Someone's got to have it. Tennessee Williams. Which Tennessee Williams play features the characters Big Daddy and Brick Pollock? The Great Gatsby? No, it was Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Pat. Number one. There he is, the old dirty rat himself, James Cagney. For his role in which 1942 musical did James Cagney receive an Oscar? Yankee Doodle Dandy. It was, yes. Marvellous. Errol. Number two, please. Number two, to stop a four square there, that's 10 pin bowling. How many holes are there in a 10 pin bowling ball? Three. Three is right, well done. That was a guess, wasn't it? Sort Good of. guess, sort of, yes. I'll go for number three. Here comes three. Liverpool. Who is the Anglican Bishop of Liverpool? I don't know. No, David Shepherd is. Let's have another square from Errol. Number six, please. Number six. Here it comes, and that's a gremlin. An unlucky square point, and square goes to Pat. Pat, your last square, my darling. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Here it comes, and that's a badger. What is a badger's burrow known as? A set. A set. And Errol, the last square is number thirty-six. Bottom corner. Here it comes, and that's my local MP, ladies and gentlemen, Ken Livingstone. Uh, Ken Livingstone was leader of the GLC. What did the initials GLC stand for? Greater London Council. And that's right. And at the end of that round, let's have a look at those scores. Errol's on 15 and Pat's on 29. <laughs> let's get on with round two, a very important round. A lot of points up for grabs here. And in the maze, we'd like both Errol and Pat to answer yes or no to a number of statements which could be true or false. Let me give you an example here. The Mad Hatter's hat cost 12 and 6. No, it was 10 and 6. Now, it's very important that both my statement and their answer is given within a five-second time limit because if they're late in answering or incorrect in answering, they'll go down a blind alley. Let me show you the route I'd like them to take as they go along, picking up red squares, 10 in all, picking up a point for each one. Those 10 points we want them to do within 60 seconds or under, because then I'll ask a bonus question, which could be worth another 10 points. So right now, Errol's just a wee bit behind, so we're going to ask you to go first, Errol. So would you like to turn round and face the maze? And your time starts now. Adolf Hitler was born in Germany. No. Shakespeare was the bard of hope. No. Yob is backslang. Yes. Abel killed Cain. No. Pegasus was a flying horse. Yes. The Great Train Robbery took place in 1965. No. John Adams was America's first vice president. No. Rowan is an alternative name for Pussy Willow. Yes. Alfred Hitchcock directed Strangers on a Train. No. A perennial lives for two years. No. Sears Tower has a hundred stories. Yes. A professional basketball match lasts 48 minutes. No. Oh, seven points there. Well played, Errol. Let me just remind you that uh, Rowan uh, is an alternative name for Pussy Willow. Actually, it's Mountain Ash, and Sears Tower has 110 stories. Yeah, a very tall yeah. building indeed. If you've ever been in the lift, it takes forever. Pat, you've seen Errol doing it. We'd like to wish you luck now Thank as you. you turn round and face the maze. And your time starts now. Bacchus was god of wine. Yes. Mrs. Thatcher is a backbencher. No. A Bath Oliver is a biscuit. Yes. King David married Bath Sheba. Yes. A Bashi Bazook was a Turkish mercenary. No. The Battle of Britain was fought on land. No. John Wesley was a Quaker. No. St. Andrew is patron saint of Russia. Yes. Charles Darwin put forward the theory of evolution. 
Yes. Frank Sinatra is known as Old Brown Eyes. No. Karl Marx is buried in Hampstead Cemetery. No. Yes. Well played. Well played indeed. That's ten points. Well, well, I bet you feel a bit better about that. I do. That's that yes, over. I yes, do. ten yes. points there. Now that means I can ask you a bonus question, Pat, which is worth another ten points. So I'm going to wish you the very best of luck. Which one word can go in front of all these words? Brow, chair, light, and ball. Hi. Hi is right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very good. So. Pat turned very well out of there, adding another 20 points. Let's have a look at those scores. Errol's on 22, and Pat's on 49. <laughs> well, I think we've earned a little breather. Now, both Pat and Errol are hoping to win today. One of them goes through to the next round, and then they start banking points in their four-square account. Those points, if they get through to the final, hopefully will get converted into travel miles, which could take them to somewhere lovely in Europe or somewhere glamorous even further. Use your four square miles for a bus trip around the beautiful Mediterranean island of Mallorca. Or win more miles, travel to Turkey and set your sails four square to the wind. Yes, play four square and see the world. All right, let's get on to the next round, the third and final round, which is all about testing your memory. Now, let's see how Errol's and Pat's memory do as we go back to the grid and we have our 36 squares again. This time, behind those squares, we've got coloured shapes. There are nine coloured shapes in all and they reoccur throughout the grid four more times in each of the quarters. What we'd like them to do is to pair the squares and we'll give two points for a pair and if they manage to make a four square, that's another five points. We keep doing that until we hear a rude noise. Are we ready? Errol, you're a little bit behind, so you're going to go first. Let's have your first four squares. Eight, please. Number eight. Eleven. Three. And nine. Not yet, but you'll remember those, won't you, Errol? I'll try to. Good man. Pat. Number seven. Number five. Number eleven. And 20. And number 20, is it? Not yet. Lots to remember and more time to get rid of. Number 9. Number 16. Number 2. And number 7. Number 7. Not yet. Come on, Pat, will you be first? 14. 7. 23. One more? One. Number one. Not yet. Errol. Number 16. Number one. Yes, that's our pair. <laughs> so, two points to Errol and another two squares, Errol. Number 11. And number 23. And that's another good one. Two points. Pat. 19. 6. 27. 35. 35. Let's have a look at those scores now. Errol's added a few more to his. Errol's on 26 and Pat's on 49. <laughs> So let's have some more squares. Number nine, please. Number 30. Number seven. And that's a pair. And number 24. The old locker number, here it comes. That's another pair, two points. <laughs> Errol's piling on the points here. Pat, let's have a go. 31. Five. Twenty-two. Uh, Eighteen. Is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Errol's filled the board up with his green squares. Yeah. Will he do some more here? Um, number twenty-nine. Number four. 
Number five. Yes, that's a pair. Two points. And a four square. Now, this is getting interesting. We have a four square there, another five points. Well worth looking at the scoreboard now. Errol's on 37 and Pat's on 49. Mm. So, there we are. And Errol, one more go. I'm um, number 22, please. Number 22, here it comes. Pat, your turn. Six. Fourteen. Yes, that's a pair at last. <laughs> <laughs> go for 15. Yes, go for 15. Twelve. And number 12. And Errol. Number 17. Number 15. Number 15. Number 22. Number 12. Number 12. So, Pat, another four squares. Right, I'll go for uh, 17. 12. 12. 13. 13. 14. 14. Yes, a pair. Two points. One more, yes, you're right, Pat. 26. And that noise means it's the end of that round there. I think Errol was really eager to go again, wasn't he? But you caught up very well in that round, Errol. 37, and Pat's on 53. You know, the more games we play, the more we see that certain people are better geared to certain rounds. I think Errol there was very good at pair the squares, and Pat came through well on the maze. But anyway, let's have a look now, Errol. Uh, you actually are going to take away a very nice souvenir, a memento of the show, which we hope you'll stick on the wall there, next to your jazz records. Have you enjoyed yourself? I have, very good. much so, thank well, it's you. It's been great having you on the show. Thank you. And Pat, you're a daily winner. Thank what do you, you think about that, eh? Quite pleased. Are yes. you going to come back and join us? Yes, I will. Good yes. girl. We're going to open up a bank account for you. Thank you. You get the full bit, checkbook, the whole lot. Right, sure. All right, we well, wish you good luck. I'll leave you with this thought I before E, except after C. That means Einstein got it twice wrong in the same word. Don't think about it too much. Do come back and join us for another game of Four Square when we ask you to pull up a chair and play the quiz game that puts squares before your eyes. Till then, take care. And there's another chance to see that edition of Four Square tomorrow morning just after 10 o'clock with a further round tomorrow afternoon at 1.50 here on One. And over on two now, Alan Titchmarsh travels to Lincoln Cathedral to celebrate Harvest Thanksgiving in songs of praise and meet members of the agricultural community who reflect the variety of farms in the area. <laughs> Dropped a watch. No, don't, don't touch. There's an inscription to Danny from his ma. Oh, Daddy nicked again. Join the Paradise Club tomorrow at 9:30 on BBC One. Pizza fans will be in paradise in 45 minutes when Hudson and Halls will be conjuring up some mouth-watering pizza toppings with the help of Lindsay DePaul. That's after the Californian Ewings receive a fatal blow in Knott's Landing.